Welcome to the e-learning platform by Science Park. So today, the topic we are going to cover is Earth and Solar System from Standard 5th. So this is the part 1 of Earth and Solar System. So let's see what are the topics which we are going to cover today. So we'll learn something about the celestial bodies, stars, a few planets, satellites, then asteroids and dwarf planets. And in all, we are going to learn today about solar system. What exactly is solar system and what are the components of it? So in the daytime, when you go outside, and as we all know, we are on Earth, right? So as we go out, you see a bright, clear sky like this, right? So can we see something in sky or just clouds? Oh, there is much more than the clouds and the blue color which you see in the sky. There is a whole lot of things there. So let's see one by one what are what is there up in the sky. So friends, when you go outside in the night and when there is pitch dark everywhere, you see little, little tiny, tiny dots up in the sky. Too many dots. So what are these? Some of these, you know, twinkle. Some of these don't. So what are these? Are these some tiny particles up there in the sky? Or these are some massive giant bodies in the sky which are very far away from us. What are these? And what are these called? Hmm. So these are called as celestial bodies. So these are natural objects which are visible in the sky. So these are celestial bodies. Now there are lot many celestial bodies which we can't see. So what about the bodies which we can see? Yes. Now in these celestial bodies, those who have their own light are called as stars. Yes. You might know that poem, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Stars. Yes. So the objects which we see, they are twinkling. They are stars and most probably they are moving and that's why we, you know, we feel like they are twinkling. So talking about stars. Now tell me students, friends, what is the most common star that you know? Hmm. The one which I see in the picture. Yes. That is Sun. Sun is the most closest star to us and it is one of the most important star. And that's the reason that we are alive on this planet. We get a lot of energy from Sun. So friends, there are some celestial bodies in the sky which do not have their own light. Yes, so what are these bodies called? The one which are shown in this picture. So they are called as planets. Yes, so planet is a body which does not have its own light. Like for example, planet Earth on which we live. So Earth doesn't have its own light. We get light from Sun. Now that means our earth must be close to sun. Yes. So there is one more property of planets. And that is they revolve around a star. Yes. Like earth is revolving around the sun. And while revolving, they also rotate around themselves. Yes. Earth also rotates around itself while it is revolving around the sun. Hmm. So friends, tell me, which all are the planets 
that are revolving around the sun. So we'll start from the closest one that is Mercury. Then comes Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. So these are the eight main planets which are revolving around the sun. Now Jupiter is the biggest planet of them all. And there is also one planet around which there is a ring, a ring like structure which you can also see in the picture. Yes, and that planet is Saturn. The rings are very beautiful. And my dear friends, you know, other than Earth, in the seven planets, there is no life. Yes, there is only life on our planet Earth. So this is how actually the Earth looks from space. Yes. So there is one object which revolves around the planets. Yes. And we see such object in the sky at night. So what is this? So these are called as satellites. The celestial bodies or objects moving around planets. Now my dear friends, like planets, they also don't have their own light. Yes. Now Earth has one natural satellite that is Moon. Now there are some planets like Jupiter, Saturn which have more than one natural satellites which are revolving around them. Now what is this? Is this a planet? No, this is Pluto. A dwarf planet. Now it is neither a planet nor a natural satellite. Yes, it does revolves around the sun but not in the manner in which the other planets are revolving. That is why it is classified as a dwarf planet. You know, a few years ago Pluto was considered as a planet but then some people thought that you know, it is not the same as the other planets. So let's call it as dwarf planets. And these rocks are called as asteroids. So there is a belt of these kinds of rocks in between Mars and Jupiter. Now they are also revolving around the sun. And this belt of rocks is called as asteroids. Yes. And as you can see, the belt which is there in between Mars and Jupiter. And you can also see in this picture that the Jupiter is the biggest planet of them all. Yes. And the number three from Sun is Earth. So these are all the planets which move or they revolve around the sun and they revolve in a specific path which is also called as an orbit. Okay, so my dear friends, the sun, all these planets, asteroids, the satellites, the dwarf planets, together is called as the solar system. Yes, solar refers to the sun and the system together is called as the solar system. Now if you consider the size of all the things or the, all the components in the solar system, the maximum size and weight is of the sun. It constitutes around 99% of the mass of the entire solar system. So just think how big it must be. Right? 
Yes. So let's summarize the session, what we have learned today. So we have learned about celestial bodies, which we see in the sky. Then we have seen about stars, the bodies which have their own light, such as sun. Then we have seen planets which revolve around a star and which doesn't have their own light, such as Earth. Then we see, we have seen satellites which revolve around the planets and which also don't have their own light, such as Moon. Then we have seen the asteroid, the asteroid belt, which is there in between the paths of Mars and Jupiter. Then we have seen a dwarf planet like Pluto and all these constitute to make the solar system. So friends, here are some questions. So we can pause the video here. You can note down these questions. You can note the answers and you can send to us via email or you can write them in the comments below. Thank you.